Hello and welcome to another Spark Toast tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be covering how do I log in via SFTP to my server. So the reasons you'll need to do this is let's say you're uploading a whole entire server and it's over 100 megs or there's a bunch of incremental folders in there. It just makes it a lot easier. Alright, to get started you're going to go to your control panel, you're going to go to configuration, you're going to go to where it says SFTP settings. From here you're going to get a connection address and a username. The password will be the same password that you use to log into your control panel. So if your password to log into the control panel is bacon123, that'll be your password to log into your SFTP. So for the sake of this tutorial, I will use WinSCP as I prefer it over FileZilla myself, but you can use the same type of stuff with WinS, not WinSCP, with FileZilla, and I will probably later on create a tutorial of how to use FileZilla for SFTP. So we're going to copy our connection address. We are then going to go create a new site. You're going to control V. As you can see it already tells it that it's an SFTP and it's going to already put in our port number which is awesome. It saves us a little bit of time. Next up we're going to copy our username and then again our password. We'll log that in. And then once this logs in, I will throw it over here. Oh, crap, I just closed it. Hold on, give me a second. I accidentally just closed it on this. That's awkward. Oh. All right, it's just reconnecting. Give me a second. All right, so right, here we go. So now, as you can see, we see everything that we saw in our file manager, except now we just have a little bit more control. We can upload and download at will. Like, I can download this right now. Actually, let me find a small one. Like, we'll go into our logs as an example. And I can just go pop, throw this into my public downloads directory, and there we go. Instant download, no worry. And again, same with uploading. You just drag it in. And yeah. I hope you guys have found this tutorial helpful, and I will see you in the next one.